Okay, so in this video, I'm going to explain um, a, a very simple method for evaluating alternatives uh, with, uh, that, that do not have all monetary uh, objectives. So uh, we're going to um, provide information to decision makers uh, in investing for large projects, uh, and some of the some of the things that w that are important to us. Uh, cannot be measured readily with money, right? So we're going to use uh, the rating and ranking method to uh, to evaluate uh, a simple example of this. So let's say our uh, civil engineering department is preparing to hire a new professor, and we have three candidates, and we need to choose the one that that would best uh, serve our goals, right, for the department. So we're going to use the rating and ranking procedure and determine which is best. Okay. So uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, determine what our evaluation criteria are. What are the things that are important to us? Right? And they must be measurable. Right? These measure our, our objectives. So for objectives for faculty are you know, uh, scholarship, uh, and these are measures of that. Um, how savvy are they with regard to applications? How much teaching have they done? Have they provided service to the community? Uh, and you know how stable are they? Right. So, and we have ranked these objectives or these measures uh, that relate to our objectives uh, in this way. So, the most important in this particular example is research dollars generated. The least important is this uh, apparent stability. Okay. So the first step in the rating and ranking uh, um, uh, procedure, of course, is to, to rank these uh, criteria. These are called measures of effectiveness. Okay? Uh, and the next step is now to, we're going to um, assign scoring. We want to weight, uh, weight these different objectives. So this gets the most weight, right? So uh, the first step is to um, assign the number of objectives, assign the most or the highest number, the highest weight to the highest ranked objective. So the, the most points that any objective can get in this case is six. There are six objectives. Uh, so uh, alternative, this, this uh, evaluation criterion right here, ranked number one, gets six points and so on. So now I want to I want to normalize that on a scale of 100. So I'm going to add these up and the add up to 23. And normalizing them gives me factors, right? Weighting factors for each uh, each criterion. So now what, let's bring in the performance. Oh, this shows how we did the calculation. We bring in the performance of the faculty. There are three alternative faculty who have applied and we're considering. These are the numbers associated with these measures of effectiveness. Okay. So these are the numbers we're going to use uh, to evaluate. Uh, so the next step, now I've pulled out the first row here. The next step is to normalize each row on a scale of 0 to 100. So the best score should be the highest number in this case because number of publications indicates productivity. So this 25 gets 100 points. And this 20 should get some portion of that 100 points. Logically, 20 divided by 25, or 80 points. This would get 15 by 25 times 100, or 60 points. And we would do that with each row and assign scores uh, from 1 to 100 uh, for each for each score. So these are all normalized now. Okay. Now the next step is to multiply these raw scores by the factors because the, the each each alternative is not equal to each other one, right? And some are more important than others as we just showed. So uh, we want to multiply each row by its factor like this. So we're going to multiply this row by 22 percent, this row by 26 percent because it's more important and so on. And we'll generate a table that looks like this. 
And let's say, for example, this number right here comes from multiplying this raw score times the factor of 26%. 26% of 62 is 16. And if we add these up, each of these columns up, we get a, a total weighted score for each alternative. And so we would choose the third alternative, Dr. Squirtle, uh, because he gets the highest score. And that's it.